welcome to another Virtual Learning Tip Tuesday. And joining me today is Marcy Davis, and her tip will help you create a Google Slide that will not allow students to make any changes. Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how to create a slide that has a background that is not editable by students. And I'm going to right click on my slide so that I can choose the layout that I want. And I'm going to scroll down to apply layout. And now I have a blank slide to work with. So now I want to insert a table and I'm going to have students drag and drop items into my table that start with a certain letter. So I'm gonna type in capital A and lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b. And now this is what I want my slide to look like, but I don't want the students to be able to accidentally delete the letters or delete the table. So I'm going to click up here in the left corner and I'm just going to drag until the entire table is copied. And then you can either right click and copy or you can do control c on your keyboard and now i want to go up to my option up here on the toolbar which says slide then i am going to scroll down to edit master this is the slide that i'm working with because it's highlighted so now i'm going to right click and i'm going to paste i don't need to save this you can simply x out of it so now this has become part of the background of the slide but what I had typed there previously is still there. So now I need to delete those parts and I'm just going to click in the slide and I'm going to hit the backspace. And I need to do the same thing for the table. So I'm going to right click on the table and cut that. So now this has become a part of the slide that students can't edit. So now I could go ahead and I could go to insert and I could insert an image Say I want to insert an apple and I'm just going to type that in apple now I can resize my apple and I can move it over to the side and now students can drag and drop the apple into the table and they'll never be able to delete the table or the letters if I go back over here to my slide and right click on it again and I go down to apply layout you can see now that the background that I created is now a choice for my layout. So if I were to go to new slide, I could then go to layout, apply layout, and I could choose that if I wanted to. Now, if you enjoy today's content, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more content just like this. Don't forget to join us next week for another virtual learning Tip Tuesday.